the Black Dragon makes his first appearance here in the asylum, this is the man that pinned the Ultimo Dragon right in the middle of the squared circle in Tokyo, Japan, and went on to become the only Gaijin or American wrestler to receive the blessing of the Ultimo Dragon to continue on the Dragon character. And I can guarantee you that this match will be non-stop action from start to finish. NWA Canadian and NWA World Junior Heavyweight Champion from Portland, Oregon, 168 pounds, Tornado Tony. The newly crowned NWA World Junior Heavyweight Champion making his way to the ring. He is also officially still the NWA Canadian Junior Heavyweight Champion. He won that world title just a short time ago in Pennsylvania against Vince Kaplack and has vowed to be a fighting champion. But tonight, Bulldog, I am sure you agree that the Tornado has his work cut out for him as he faces the Black Dragon. One of the toughest competitors that I've ever seen out of Japan. This Black Dragon is unbelievable. His aerial skills, his acrobatic skills are without question. Kazina has just won that world uh, junior title and he's gonna be hard pressed to keep it this time. And the Black Dragon getting in the face of Tony Kazina immediately. This is not the first time that these two combatants have met in the ring in ECCW. And I can guarantee it will not be the last time they meet as we tie up collar and elbow. Dragon shoots the wrist. Casino looking for an escape and finds one. Dragon makes the escape with the Northern Light suplex and has the wrist locked. Side headlock and full takedown by the Dragon. Tony Casina counters with a head scissors. Great wrestling so far by both wrestlers. Uh, that Dragon's going to go for a submission right there. I think he's got the legs pretty, uh, pretty well intact there. Well, maybe Casina's got. Now there you go. See, told you. Back to the headlock. Both wrestlers getting dangerously close to the ropes. That, of course, would constitute a break. Dragon back to the arm into the hammerlock. Casino with the drop toe hold into a headlock of his own. Impressive technical display thus far by the Black Dragon and Tony Casino. Both have vowed they will travel wherever it is necessary to receive the best competition in the ring. Front face lock or front chancery by the Black Dragon. He's putting a lot of pressure on there. It's really up in the air as how long Tony Kazina can stand this. Big chop by the Black Dragon. Whip off the ropes. Tony ducks the clothesline. Leapfrog by Kazina. Both men go down with a clothesline. Both men had the same idea, Bulldog. That's true, but you can see the Black Dragon is sort of getting to his sense a little bit sooner. That's because he had uh, Kazina worn down with that front chancery just a little bit ago. Both men gasping for air. We've only been going a couple of minutes, but they're wearing each other down to the extent that they need to, to really pull off a victory. Black Dragon up and over, more than one way to skin a cat. And here we go. Mari Halamunso, one, two, and we have a foot on the road, spectacular maneuver, a slingshot into a moonsault by the Black Dragon. And the crowd here at the asylum, appreciative to say the least. Just six inches and they would have had to pinfall on both titles. Right across the back with a sledgehammer like forearm. Tony Kazina looks in trouble. That newly won NWA World Junior Heavyweight title could be hanging in the balance. It could be slipping away from him right now, Bulldog. You know, I've seen Kazina move up the ranks into the Pacific Northwest Junior title to the Canadian Junior title, now the World Junior title. He's got his sights set, but I'll tell you, this Black Dragon is going to give him one tough fight. Snap suplex and a two count on Tony Kazina. Now got him in that reverse chin lock. He has wrestled a virtual who's who of international wrestling, and we're happy to have him right here in ECCW. Kazina up and over. 
And once again with the sunset flip, Dragon rolls through. What's it going to be? Working for the Boston Crab. Can he get it, Bulldog? But you take a look at Kazin. He keeps moving his arms around like that. He just can't get the hole. And Kazina sent up and over by the Black Dragon. I thought he was going to guillotine him on there, but he actually just picked him up and tossed him over. Really, Tony Kazina, wait a minute. Black Dragon, of course, does some of his biggest damage from the air. Here we go. Look out. He wiped out Kazina with that moonsault to the floor. You know, this is the, the orient experience that Black Dragon has managed to garner, and I'll tell you, with uh, Tony Kazina, it's going to be next to impossible to counteract such a thing. I mean, that was an incredible move. That was a combination of an Arihara moonsault and an Asai moonsault. You go ahead and call whatever kind of salts they are. In either case, they put them on the floor. Scoop and a slam by the Black Dragon puts Tony Kazina in position. Le Caprada and Tony Kazina raises the knees. I'm surprised he get a concussion for that was right in the head. And Tony Kazina, oh my goodness. Knife edge style chop in the corner, now kicking away. Looks like Kazina has a second win. Kazina now with the man, whips him into the corner. Dragon hits hard. Well, Kazina looks like he's found his second win there because I'll tell you, he looked in trouble there earlier. Kazina up and over. Big spin kick gets all, uh, Black Dragon right in the side of the head. I'd be surprised if he isn't out on his feet at this point. As a matter of fact, he's not even on his feet. Dragon warily getting to his feet. Slingshot avoided by the Black Dragon. Asai Munso! My goodness! He took out not only the Black Dragon, but half the crowd as well. Well, I think that about explains it right there. Unbelievable. Tony Kazina throwing caution to the wind. Let's just hope it did enough damage to finish off the Black Dragon. Otherwise, it'll be all for naught. Now, that referee's got to make sure that that count of five is enforced because I think the Black Dragon should have won right there. And Kazina straight to the top once again. Big high flying body press. One, two, and the Dragon somehow escapes. I don't know how the Dragon escaped that pinning attempt by Tony Kazina. Whip off the ropes, a reversal, leapfrog by the Dragon. Boot to the midsection by Kazina. Swinging neck breaker, sort of a half swinging neck breaker, half DDT. And still cannot put away the Black Dragon. It's going to take an awful lot to put either of these men down. It's just not going to be possible with just one or two move combinations. I must say, I am incredibly impressed here this evening with the, old, uh, the Ultimo Dragon's protege, the Black Dragon. Now, I don't think that people really appreciate the Black Dragon skills, you know. They know about Tony Kazina because he's been here, but I'll tell you, Black Dragon, beyond belief. Slingshot into a bulldog, nicely done by Tony Kazina, and almost gets the three count. Once again, the Black Dragon finds a way to escape. Bulldog, I don't know how he's doing it. Didn't hook the leg. That was the key right there. He could have had him, but he didn't hook the leg. And to an extent, I think the Black Dragon must be working purely on instinct at this point. Snap suplex by Kazina. Tries once again for the cover. Referee Vern Siebert does not get to three. You know, Vern's an experienced referee. It's good to see that he's got an important referee on this type of match. Very important. And Kazina launches off the top rope, gets Vern Siebert instead. Black Dragon, I think, pulled him in the way. Kazina scooping up Black Dragon. Black Dragon scooping up Kazina. Wait a minute. Kazina with Dragon. Cannot get him up. Both men go down in a heap. Well, Black Dragon managed to shift his weight just enough there to avoid that. Oh, my. Look at this. Drops him right on his head with the tombstone. He didn't get him the first time. He certainly did with that. He got that right. And now 
heading upstairs to finish him off perhaps? What's it going to be? Oh my goodness! 450 splash! And there's no referee! Well, that was Kazina's fault. He kicked the referee. Vern Siebert's still down, feeling the effects. He was caught in the crossfire and was not there to count the pinfall. Dragon from behind. See, well, Kazina's looking after the referee. He's supposed to be paying attention to the match. He's worried about the referee. Don't worry about the referee. Worry about your opponent. Black Dragon now scooping up Kazina. Oh, drives him. Mitch and Oku driver. I ain't that shit for him. I ain't, he's done. I think we got ourselves a new world junior heavyweight champion. And Black Dragon to the top. Look at that form. Unbelievable. Shooting star press. That's it. And the referee makes it to his feet, but I don't know what happened. There's he's a champion, the Black Dragon. The Black Dragon. Perhaps the new NWA World Junior Heavyweight Champion. Tony Kazina had it won, and I think the Black Dragon, yes, he's being awarded the belt. Looks like we have a new NWA World Junior Heavyweight Champion right here at the asylum, the Black Dragon. He's been to Mexico, Japan, Europe, and now here in British Columbia. Wait a minute. Vern Siebert, the referee. And there's your chair. Wait a minute, what are you doing? I saw him beat him. One, two, three. What do you mean? It looks like, yes, Tony, it looks like Vern Siebert is going to disqualify the Black Dragon. That's a travesty of justice. I don't think I've ever seen so much. Oh, that's terrible. Black Dragon reluctant to give up the titles. I don't blame him, but... That Black Dragon had him beat. One, two, three, the center of the ring. What more did it take? Oh, my goodness. Controversy reigns supreme here at the asylum. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get the official the word. The referee has decided, as a result of a disqualification, your winner and still NWA Canadian, NWA World Junior Heavyweight Champion, Tornado Tony Cozina! What a spectacular match. Tony Cozina holds on to the title. And believe it or not, wrestling fans, plenty more action still to come. ECCW style. That should have been his belt.